Imagine if you could get Excel to put in company stock information like this. Think of what you could do with that data. I'm going to show you how in just a couple of clicks, but before I jump into the content, please click subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this. Okay, are you ready? Then let's go. Here I have a list of companies I want to find more information on. Before I get this information, I need to format this as a table, and this will make it easier when it comes to updating. And I'll go to data and then stocks. You will see now beside each company name, there's now a little building. And this tells me that this information is now linked to an online data source. Now, before I have a look at the data, have a look at this. Financial market information is provided as is and not for professional or trading purposes or advice. You will also notice that we have a couple of abbreviations. The first one is a stock exchange abbreviation. And the second one is the company name abbreviation, also known as the ticker symbol. If I click on the little building, it will bring up a display card providing information on that company. But that's not all. If I click away, I get this little icon. And if I click on this icon, it allows me to add one of these data fields as a new column. For this example, I'm going to choose price. Let's expand this. Let's add another one. This time I'm going to add change. And that brings that one through too. Now, because I've used formatters table, it's really easy when it comes to updating. All I need to do is just tap here, type in the name of the next company, which is going to be Citigroup, press enter, and it will bring the information through. Let's try another one. This time I'm going to type in Shell, press enter. This time it's got a little blue question mark, and that's because Excel needs some help. So if I click here, on the right hand side, it gives me a list of Shell companies. And all I need to do here is select the one that I want to see. So for the purpose of training, I'm just going to click this first one and it will bring the information through. Let's look at something else now. You can also add in the labels by clicking into the cell, type equals, and then the cell reference of the first company. And what it will do, it will bring up all the data fields that you can add. For this example, I'm going to look for the industry. So I type in a dot and I could just start spelling out industry. There it is there. Press tab to select it, press enter and it will populate the remaining fields. Uh, it doesn't pull in the column name, but I can enter that in myself. So I'm just going to type in industry, and there's the information. But there's more. What if I want to sort this list by the number of employees? But I don't want to display that information in this table. So what I do, I just click on this drop down, and where it just says display value, I click here, choose employees, and then I've got two sort options here. So I want to sort largest to smallest, I click, and it will sort accordingly. Now the information here is using an online data source. To ensure that it's up to date, you can press here to refresh. Or if you like your keyboard shortcuts, press Control Alt and F5. How impressive was that? So cool, isn't it? Well, this is the video that I want you to see next, and this is what YouTube wants you to see next. And if you haven't already, then please click subscribe. I will see you in the next video.